We are joined now by Brisbane Bureau Chief Adam Walters. Adam, fears are growing for the lives of these workers. Uh, what can you tell me? Sadly, Rita, there's been no sign of Dylan Landridge and Trevor Davis since they fell into a cavernous 125-metre hole yesterday morning. Their vehicle has been located, but the use of the latest search and rescue technology, including drones and video images, has so far failed. The local mayor at Cloncurry painted a very grim picture of the awful challenges mm. confronting the rescue operation. This is what he had to say. Underground, 125 metres underground, where it's pitch black. Uh, the, there's not much space. Everything's reasonably confined. Uh, dealing with heavy machinery, you know, it's a, a really difficult task. But these rescue crews are highly trained. And, you know, unfortunately, they train for situations like this. But we all hope that they never ha have to put that training into action. So Rita hopes for the survival of these two men are diminishing by the minute, but local member Robbie Catter, the local state MP, says the community is determined to be positive about the chances, no matter how slim they are, of a successful rescue operation. This is what he had to say. We have to live in hope at this point. Um, we have to do that for the families, and um, and I'm I'm confident they're putting every effort they can uh, to get those people out as quickly as possible. Um, it, it means a lot to the community, um, not just in Cloncurry, but all that mining community in the northwest. I do have varying sources uh, that are communicating things back to us. We've got no reason to believe that um, anything and everything isn't being done. Um, we know that uh, the priority is locating um, uh, Trevor and Dylan and making sure um, we rescue them and get them out safely. Um, the inspectorate is on, on site, emergency services are on site. My understanding is that the various companies are cooperating, uh, that being uh, Barman Co and obviously um, the site owner and operator. Um, so we are confident that every effort um, is being made uh, to deliver a really good outcome here. Rita, the Dugald mine is incredibly remote, about 70 kilometres north of Cloncurry. And that sits halfway between Brisbane and Darwin. The quickest access is via a flight to Mount Isa, which is still a two and a half hour drive away from the rescue operation. The drill operator Oof. survived the initial collapse of this hole from which zinc is extracted along with the byproducts of lead and silver. The mining company says a thorough investigation is being conducted to determine exactly what led to this tragic incident. Rita.